Thank you, Gail. Well, we're eager to start playing. Uh, the first tune uh, is called Monk Tuno. It's a song that I wrote. Um, actually, all the music today is going to be music that I wrote. Um, and this one was inspired by Thelonious Monk. If you uh, are familiar with Monk's music, you'll hear quite a few snippets of his songs during this.
Thank you. Thank you very much. So that song, the Monk Tuno, like I said, uh, inspired by Thelonious Monk, um, it actually had a 12-bar blues hidden inside it, disguised under the Monk uh, harmonies. This next song we're doing is also actually has a disguised 12-bar blues in it, but more disguised in the way the bebop players like Charlie Parker would uh, reharmonize things. So the harmony and the melody are, are bebop-ish, but it's set with a Cuban rhythm. So it's called Cubop. Stanford on the conga drums. 
So um, a long, long time ago, back in the 70s, um, I had a, a summer gig for uh, three months playing six nights a week at a, a hotel lodge in uh, Montana. And when I got back to the area, it felt like I'd been in a dream. So I, I had written this song right around that time. So this song is called Montana Dream. This is a song that goes back a long ways that I uh, dug up and uh, rearranged recently for this ensemble.
this next one is a little more recent than the last one. Um, this is another one of those uh, blues that I did, but the 12-bar form is actually distorted quite a bit in this. Um, kind of inspired by something I heard uh, Don Grolnick write. Anyway, um, so this song is called The Blues All Wrong.
Everybody hot enough? Yeah. Who, who expected an 80 degree day in San Francisco, right? So this uh, next song uh, also dates back to that era when I was in Montana. Um, it never really got played at that time. It's kind of sat untitled. Um, I dug it out recently, put an arrangement to it, um, and gave it a title. This song is called Es Verdad. It's kind of a mood piece. I first introduced the Cadillac Hotel, this wonderful concert series, when I played here with a band called Tribu. Um, we played three concerts here over the length of about three years, uh, 2015, 2016, I can't remember where we started. Um, anyway, um, that band had three wonderful Cuban musicians in it. Uh, Marcus Lopez, the bass player, Mario Solomon, the uh, timbali player, and Jesus Gonzalez, the uh, conga player. So um, I wrote a song that was intended to be played by them. It's in uh, uh, what's called triple meter. So I dedicated them, um, uh, call it Trace Cubanos, in, in honor of the three Cuban players in Tribu.
Thank you, Trace Cubano. So uh, this next song is uh, uh, inspired by the uh, song written by Dizzy Gillespie that was kind of the foundation of Latin jazz, a song called Night in Tunisia. Uh, this is my take on uh, sort of the form and feeling of it called Two Night Amnesia.
So uh, this next song was also written originally to be played by Tribu. Uh, things kind of changed before they ever got around to it. Um, this is called Las Palomas, which means uh, the doves.
you. Thank you very much. I think, Kathy, we have time for one more? Okay. Two more. Well, we'll see. We'll see. Um, so, I want to thank the band, uh, Lena Johnson on the piano. Al Stanford on the conga drums. Jeff Nish on the bass. I'm Dave Cassini playing the vibraphone. Thank you. So, um, if you like Primavera, the band will actually be here again November 1st, right? It'll be a slightly different lineup with uh, uh, two horns, a trumpet and trombone in the front line instead of the vibraphone. Are, are you on that or not? No, okay. So, uh, and some, some other percussion. So you'll see a slightly different version of, of the band on November 1st. Um, and if you're ever in Berkeley, you can catch us at the Cheese Board on Shattuck Avenue, lunch times on Wednesdays, uh, first, third, or fifth Wednesdays of every month we play there. Uh, occasionally other places around the Bay Area too. If you look for the uh, Primavera Latin Jazz channel on YouTube, a bunch of stuff there, and uh, it could give you some information about our dates and stuff. So um, this next tune was written a few years ago uh, around Christmas time. It actually happened to be the winter solstice that day, so I call it solstice.
very cool today.